Welcome back to Dynamic English. My name is Jeffy, and this is Tomas, or as I like to call him, Tommy Beans. And today, he's going to help me teach you some vocabulary, phrases, and expressions all about our canine friends. So stay tuned as Dynamic English goes to the dogs. So first, let's take a look at some expressions that we use about dogs. The most common expression is man's best friend. And let's be honest, they are. We really don't deserve our dogs. Hey, I'm man's best friend. Now, some other common expressions or idioms about dogs are, my dogs are barking. <coughs> don't take this literally, because my dogs are barking means my feet hurt. The next expression is raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and dogs. But again, don't take this literally because cats and dogs are not falling from the sky. It just means that it's raining very heavy. I'm dog tired. This expression just means I'm extremely or very tired. Dog tired. In the dog house. If you're in the doghouse, it probably means you had a fight with your partner or your spouse and you're sleeping on the couch tonight. But I'm in the doghouse. So fellas, don't make the ladies mad. You don't want to stay in the doghouse. Fight like cats and dogs. Well, if you were staying in the doghouse, it's probable that you were fighting like cats and dogs. And that's why you find yourself in the doghouse. As sick as a dog. Because, because I am sick as a dog. Again, this expression has nothing to do with a dog. It just means that we are extremely sick. All bark and no bite. All bark and no bite. This expression means someone that maybe has a big mouth, but doesn't actually have any actions to back it up. All bark, no bite. Our final expression is hair of the dog. This does not mean pelo del perro. Hair of the dog means you have a really bad hangover and you start drinking early to relieve your hangover. Hair of the dog. Hear the dog. Cheers. Now let's start talking about some vocabulary related to dogs. One question I get asked all the time in Spanish is, ¿Cómo se dice raza in English? And the answer to that is breed. Dogs have breeds. And if a dog is many breeds, well, we call those a mutt. In Spanish, you say quiltro, but in English, it's a mutt. Now let's take a look at some of the most popular breeds of dogs. Repeat the names of the breed as I say them. Labrador Retriever, Bulldog, Golden Retriever, French Bulldog, German Shepherd, Poodle, Beagle, Yorkshire Terrier, Rottweiler, Boxer, Dachshund, German Short-Haired Pointer, Pembroke Welsh Corgi, Siberian Husky, Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, Great Dane, Pug, Australian Shepherd, Shih Tzu, English Cocker Spaniel, Pomeranian, Miniature Schnauzer, Doberman, Chihuahua, Border Collie, Boston Terrier, Bernese Mountain Dog, Maltese dog, Havanese, 
Jack Russell Terrier, Kane Corso, Staffordshire Bull Terrier, West Highland White Terrier, Bull Terrier, Bichon Frise, Australian Cattle Dog, English Mastiff, Newfoundland Dog, Saint Bernard, Basset Hound, English Springer Spaniel, Shiba Inu, Dalmatian, Belgian Shepherd, Rhodesian Ridgeback, Sheltie, Brittany, Alaskan Malamute, Chow Chow, Miniature Pincher. Now let's talk about some of the accessories that dogs use. Collar, Leash, Harness, Chew Toy. If you're enjoying this video about dogs, remember that here at Dynamic English, we can always help you take your English to the next level. We offer group and individual courses, all with flexible schedules and all with native English speaking teachers. So what are you waiting for? Contact us. Bone, stick, ball, and finally a muzzle, which is my least favorite accessory. If you have to unnecessarily put a muzzle on your dog, you probably shouldn't have a dog. Now let's take a look at some verbs that dogs often do. And pay attention because there's probably some new verbs that you don't know. The first verb we're going to look at is lap, or better said, lap up. This is the way that dogs drink water. The next verb is lick. Next we have bark. We have dig, pant, wag, as in wag the tail, sniff, chew. Okay, now let's look at some verbs that humans do to dogs. Scratch, pet. Walk, play, feed, and finally, love. I don't hate your father, my boy. I love you, puppy. Okay, that's all the time that me and Tomas have for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to keep watching, stick around and watch a few more. And be sure to click that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Me and Tomas, see you next time.